And the first card is fruition. So things are starting to come your way. Uh, finally, you got to focus on things uh, and uh, you can see there's a lot of abundance that is coming in. So the end of an old cycle, the beginning of something new. So whatever um, you know, you've lost, put it in the loss account and move forward. It seems like uh, a brand new beginning will start. So all that uh, you know, that you've gone through as far as financial problems, all that is coming to an end and you are about to enter a phase of fruition. You are making a brand new start as well. So brand new things coming in for you. A new cycle is beginning. You know, there's been a lot of tens, uh, but this is showing with the full card that something brand new is coming in. So that cycle is now, um, you know, almost ready to um, be birthed really. You've got the Queen of Cups over here, the Mother of Perception. So, you know, you're being very, very intuitive, uh, a lot of psychic uh, energy going on around you. But also, uh, this is, you know, you might be feeling a little bit depressed, a bit down. So you need to get rid of that negativity and think about the future and think about it in a more positive way. You might be spending a lot of time by yourself over there. But also, this is a card that says, trust your intuition, um, you know, use your psychic abilities uh, in a positive way. Now you've got Gaia over there and this is, you can see she's surrounded by this really big snake uh, and this is snake of transformation, there's a butterfly of transformation and this is the world card, so things have ended. Maybe, uh, you know, situations with very toxic people have come to an end, maybe they had you trapped for a long time but that seems to have come to an end and you've got the sun card so things are starting to look up um you know you've got to have to still put in a lot of hard work maybe you've been putting a lot of hard work into some kind of project to manifest maybe working very late hours but things are about to get better if you're going through health issues the sun card usually says that you know you will recover from it it's a very very positive card and these are two major kind of cards and then you've got it, uh, you know, followed by the Fool card, which is showing that, you know, the cycle is now finished. Uh, the darkness is over, enlightenment and clarity coming in and brand new beginnings starting for you there. And the card that follows is the success card. So after all of this, money is coming in over here. You've got moon in Taurus. This is the best combination to have. With moon in Taurus, it means finances, wealth, money coming in. And there's a big part of money coming in over there. So success is coming your way over there as well as power. So where you have been disempowered, feeling like you've had nothing, uh, you know, there was nothing left in you, all of that is coming in again. Uh, you've got Lilith, you've got the, the energy of, of Aries there, so brand new beginnings and brand new money coming in as well. So just hanging there. Don't be negative, don't feel negative because the cycle is about to finish. The cards that follow are fruition, success and power with the sun card and a brand new beginning. So all of this is just really a nice positive shift, a very optimistic start uh, coming in for you there bottom of the deck you've got the ten of hazards so there again a ten of uh, pentacles ending off a difficult financial situation over there so something's coming to an end uh you've got the queen of hazards which is your card the queen of pentacles and the lovers um so this is interesting you've got a world card coming over there there's definitely an ending of the cycle so something is now finished and done with the lovers is about choice that you have to make about how you want to move forward and how you want to pursue the things that you love important decisions coming up over there you need to get back into your energy as well with that queen of hazards this is your card of the queen of pentacles you might feel that the situation you've had a lot of loss you can see she's lost her arms and her hands and she's also very chained up over here so whatever the situation was it had you so financially restricted uh, and it's not coming to an end with that ten of hazards so there is money coming in with that ten of cups uh, ten of pentacles there so where you have had a, a lot of loss uh, you know a lot of um, restriction and you've been crying quite a bit as well her makeup is completely smudged over there like it looks like that cycle is now coming to an end and finances are going to be coming your way there so brand new beginning brand new security coming in as well with that ten of cups um, hazards. You might be even thinking about buying a new home or even moving home. So there's something very concrete coming into your life over there. You've got the Emperor card over here and the Six of Cups. Now you could be dealing with an Aries energy over there, uh, you know, with that Emperor card because it is ruled by Aries um, or rather Mars. So that could be the energy that you're dealing with, somebody that is very, very uh, negative, very, very toxic that you're dealing with. On the other hand, this could be, um, you know, it could be somebody from your family as well that's very dominating, domineering, because you've got that Six of Cups over there. 
On the other hand, this could be that emperor energy making an offer to you because the six of cups is about offers being made. Uh, somebody from the past that you knew, maybe an Aries person from the past or maybe a Scorpio person from the past, both uh, signs being ruled by Scorpio making you some kind of really good offer over there. Um, on the other hand, this could be you needing to take back that power, that energy, and telling people on no uncertain terms that you don't want to take any of their nonsense anymore, um, you know, and focusing on yourself, focusing on your growth again. It looks like there is that offer coming in with that six of cups over there. So this could be either you dealing with an Aries person or you need to take on that energy of that emperor and, uh, you know, take control of things. You need to also manage your finances. This is very important. So there's some kind of offer coming in. There could be an offer for further studying as well for that six of cups because cups is usually about further study um you know it could be uh, if you need to go and get medical attention make sure that you're seeking it but certainly a lot of power is coming into your hand the emperor is about power and power coming back to you again there's the knight of cups over there so there is that offer uh, it, if you're, uh, you know, if this is about work, you might be thinking about even going overseas and working over there. There's a lot of thinking that's involved. There might be an offer for further study, you know, where you use your brain. You can see this man's surfing with his brain over there. And, you know, it's overseas, something overseas. You could be doing something uh, that involves an international community. There's certainly some kind of offer that comes in over here. And you're going to be thinking a lot about accepting this offer. Right now, you know, in this past, you've been extremely stressed out. You've got the eight off hazards. So you've been learning a lot on your job. Job, but it's you know you've been under a tremendous amount of pressure over there um, you know you're ready to burst uh, with all the stress that has come your way over there but things are about to settle down all of this is going somewhere you are getting to a position of uh, you know where you will be a bit more stable you have been dealing with a really nasty energy there you've got that page of swords you can see this person sneaking around with a hatchet so th this person has been trying to bring you down for a long time they are walking around behind your back like shadows on the walls you can see there's this huge shadow on this card and they've beha been behaving very childishly uh, and they've been trying to uh, you know uh, put a spanner in your works so you are still dealing with this really negative nasty little energy there uh, you are uh, you have to make some kind of decision there might be some kind of legal issue that needs to be resolved all the facts have not come to light just yet so make sure you're looking at everything first before you you rush into battle be very strategic when you're dealing with this particular person because they are very very sneaky and they could cause your downfall so if this person is in the work front be careful how you tread. If you're getting an offer, also make sure that you're looking into it very, very carefully. This could be about signing new contracts and not knowing whether or not you should. You know, somebody is persuading you, uh, but make sure you're doing your research to find out exactly what is going on before you do, do things. Because you've got that page of swords energy, you could end up um, somebody putting the wool over your eyes. So that is why make sure you are very, very, very careful before you make any big decisions. You've got the hermit card over here. So this is about going back into study, but it's also about uh, focusing on your work um, and making sure that you are taking care of your health as well with the hermit. It's a card ruled by Virgo, which rules work and health. Uh, and you might need to take some time out away from everybody else to de-stress because you can see the card next to it is the eight of hazards lots of stress creating a lot of stress related illnesses put everybody's demands aside so block them out you can see all these hands coming through the uh, zombie hands coming through the window over there block them out uh, because they are stressing you out and they are affecting your health so they are pulling your energies over there lots of energy vampires going around make sure that you are protecting yourself as well you've got the knight of swords so some kind of information is going to come in it's going to be um, or news that is coming in it might be a bit upsetting this news and you might need to defend yourself or fight uh you know there might be some kind of uh, conflict that comes in with the news that you hear it's coming in pretty quickly this could be a legal decision as well that gets uh, that comes in make sure you're defending yourself watch your back all the time uh, don't trust anybody now it looks like uh, the card next to it is the two of swords with the knight of swords so some kind of conflicting information coming in uh, which is going to have you up on uh, edge over there so you're going to have to defend yourself or watch your back really so just be aware that that could well be coming in for you. Don't be surprised if it does. Whatever that information that comes in, you're going to have to act pretty quickly, make pretty big decisions on it. So make sure you've got all your facts in hand. The eight of wands, you want things to start moving and you want to leave the past behind and move on. You are... You are finished with it. You are finished with a lot of people. You've left a lot of zombies in, in their wake. So in other words, these people are not serving you anymore. They have got uh, nothing more to give you. They have not got, they've 
whatever whoever they are uh you know your interaction with them will not bring you any productivity um so you are planning on leaving them behind closing that chapter of your life and moving on so going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Two of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. These are really good. The Two of Cups showing, uh, you know, a, a new partnership. This could be a new offer, somebody that you can relate to. Maybe you're even, you know, you meet somebody, a new partnership. There's a lot of interaction with this particular person. You're on the same page, same mental page. You'll enjoy the same, you'll have the same tastes. In other words, uh, there's a new relationship coming in over here. So this could be a love relationship. This could be even a new business partnership. Whoever you're going into business with or whoever you're going into this relationship with, you'll think along the same lines. So you'll are very, very in sync with each other and you'll share the same tastes as well. So this is coming in for you soon. You've got the six of wands over here. So, uh, you know, you are going to be victorious. So there is, uh, you know, it looks like whatever is going on with the six of wands whoever you've been battling with you are going to be victorious the main word that stands out in the card is victor victory so even though it feels as though you've had no hope there is victory that is coming in for you there so where you have given up hope uh, something new is going to be presented to you with this ace of wands and victory is coming your way uh you know you've been through a lot of battle a lot of fighting you're going to meet somebody or you know be in a situation uh where there's a, a lot of support a new offer being made to you maybe a partnership of some sort that's going to bring the victory in for you there so just hang in there uh, things are about to change for the better you've got a big decision to make over there with that two of swords um so big choices to be made it looks like there's some kind of legal outcome as well so think um you know, consider all the options first. Don't allow people to sway you. Um, make sure when you're making that decision, you, you see all the facts, do your research. I'm just going to draw some cards from this uh, Think and Grow Rich deck uh, for the Oracle read. Let's take two cards out. Ha! Huh. You've got potential power over here. And the first card says, knowledge is only a potential power. It becomes power only when and if it is organized into definite plans of action and directed to a, a definite end or a definitive end rather so um you've got the power you need to make the plans and you need to direct that in order for you to to bring out or to manifest so put your plans into action so don't just make plans and put it aside you need to put them into action go for it and open your eyes so watch your back open your eyes especially since you've got a sneak going on around you or a snitch and keep your eyes open and ears wide open and your mouth closed <laughs> this is really good advice uh, if you wish to acquire the habit of prompt decision so don't listen to what anybody has got to say keep your plans to yourself go for your plans keep your eyes and ears open and keep your mouth shut don't tell anybody what you are going to be doing do it in private when it produces its fruition and you know then you can turn around and say well there you go i achieved what i wanted to achieve and you know in your face really <laughs> So make sure that you keep your eyes open, watch your back, uh, and be careful of people. Don't don't tell people what you um what you want to do. You know, there's that saying that loose lips sink ships. So make sure that you're not telling people your plans, because they they are going to put spanner in the works, and that is not a good place to be when things fall apart. So the first card from the wolf pack is uh, rejoice. Finally, the drama in your life is over. Time to celebrate, rejoice and go on with your life in a creative way. A newfound freedom financially, emotionally, physically and spiritually. So there you go. Uh, time for celebration. Things are now starting to happen for you. Things are closing. Uh, it looks like uh, you know the worst seems to be over and it's time for you to now start relaxing and enjoying. And you're going to be making a big decision over here. You've got, you are at a crossroads in your life. The choices you make now must be practical and not emotional. Um, you are not at a dead end, end. You are free to choose the direction in which you want to go. Make sure you plan. Make sure you plan and put those plans into place as well and rejoice because, you know, the worst seems to be over for you right now. And then you've got awareness over here, which is the same, uh, you know, almost as open your eyes. So awareness, you are completely aware of your situation in your life. Do not underestimate the danger. By being aware of the situation, it will help you avoid the danger. This will give you more choices. This card represents a person. 
and you can see there's a huge, I don't know if this, the camera can show it, there's this huge snake over here. Now, what is interesting is that you've got the open your eyes, which tells you to open your eyes and your ears and keep your mouth shut. And in this card, awareness says that there is a person around you that's very dangerous and very toxic. So make sure that you are watching your back there. And you've got that page of snor uh, swords who is, this person is very sneaky. They will do things to your detriment. So things are about to change. You are at the crossroads in your life. You are going into a positive direction. And you, you can celebrate, but don't let people get wind of your plans and what you want to do. Keep things to yourself. So, um, and, and the cycle is about to end, finished. I mean, you know, our Taurus has been asking, when is it going to change? When is, when are things going to look up? And it looks like this is the time that things are going to be looking up. This might be a transition phase. Maybe by the time we reach next year, uh, you know, from January, a new year starts and maybe new beginnings begin, start. So this is, might be the beginning of the end of that difficult situation. So that seems to be coming to an end. And maybe this is now the transition phase as we are moving towards something more positive. 